Hello everyone. So let's look at how you can currently migrate from your home country into the UK to work as a registered midwife. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. So I'm going to start by simplifying the whole process to you and I will tell you that there are three main processes involved yet. So the first step is the UK NMC registration process. The second step is the job application process, while the third step is the UK skilled worker um, visa application process. So I'm going to take you through all these processes. My name is Nosti and I'm from Nigeria. I am a registered midwife based in the UK. So guys, thank you so much for all the things you do. I do appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I do not take your love for granted. So please, if you are new here, please kindly subscribe. And if you have any questions concerning what I'll be discussing here today, please ask me that question in the comment section of this video share this video and also like this video as well now the first process which is the uk nmc registration you will be needing this requirement for registration the first one being a valid passport with more than six months for it to expire so the second document you will need is the um, registration certificate from your home country which you obtained from the nmc when you register with them and also you'll be needing your license please let me state clearly here that you do not need your nursing license or your nursing certificate if you had one from your home country because you do not need it to register as a midwife in the uk i don't know if that makes sense so i'll be using myself as an example i have both registration in my country nigeria but because I would like to register as a midwife in the UK, I only submitted my midwifery license and my midwifery certificate because I do not need my nursing license to practice as a midwife in the UK. This is because it's not necessary. So what this means is that if you are just a basic midwife with only midwifery qualification, you are 100% ready to migrate to the UK as a midwife. So these are the documents you will need to start with. So now the NMC registration is done online and also the payment for the NMC registration is also done online. So I'll be leaving the link to the N for the NMC registration in my video description. Please do well to check it out. So the first process is for you to prove your identity to the NMC. You do this by scanning the picture side of your travel, pa travel passport. That's what we call the data page of your passport. And then you upload this into the NMC online portal. So after you do this, you'll be needing a police clearance from the police department from your home country. So this is just to check your background. If you have any criminal record, any conviction or any court case in your country. So the next process is for you to upload your academic and qualification certificates. So like I said, these are what you were given when you registered with the NMC of your home country. So for example, when you registered with the NMC of Nigeria, you were given a registration certificate and a valid license. So what you're going to do is to upload those um, documents on your NMC portal. So after submitting those documents, you pay £140 and this £140 is not refundable and it's paid online into the NMC account. So after paying the £140, you have to wait for 14 days for the NMC to get back to you. So within these 14 days, the NMC UK, they are going to contact the um, NMC of your home country to clarify from them if actually you were or you are registered with them as a midwife. Also, they are going to confirm the document which you have submitted to know if they are valid. They will make sure you are a registered midwife in your country and also they will confirm your registration and qualification. So I learned that if you are a midwife from Ghana, you have to do what they call the Ministry of Health Verification or Clearance and that within these 14 days, if you do not um, clarify yourself from the Ministry of Health, the NMC Ghana will not verify you. 
so they will not confirm your qualification with the NNC UK and so you will be stuck so I know that in my home country Nigeria you do not need to clarify yourself from the Ministry of Health within these 14 days while you are waiting for the NNC to give you the right to go ahead with your process when they are now satisfied with all the information that have been given to them they will get back to you after the 14 days and give you the go ahead to take the test of competency the nmc will also contact person view and person view here is the organization that organizes the test of competency on behalf of the nmc so the person view we then contact you telling you that the NNC has given them the go ahead to allow you to take the test of competency with them. So you then register with them and take your first examination, which is the CBT. The CBT exams can be done in most overseas countries, but you can also decide to go to the UK to take the exams if you have the funds to do so but most people do the cbt in their home country so after doing your cbt you have the OSCE, which is only done in the uk so you hold on with that when you get to the uk you can do your OSCE. so to continue with the process you then have to do your english proficiency so there are two main english language examination tests the first one being the IELTS, the International English Language Testing System, and the second one being the Occupational English Test or the OET. So your um, required score for this test is at least a minimum of seven in reading, seven in listening, seven in speaking, and at least 6.5 in writing. So that's for the IELTS. And the required score for the Occupational English Test, which is the OET, is at least a minimum score of B in reading, B in speaking, B in listening, and C plus in writing. So after passing these exams, either the IELTS or the OET, so this is the time for you to start searching for jobs online. Then you've passed the first part of the whole migration process with the NMC registration and move on to the next part of the process. So like I said, the second part is for you to start searching for jobs online. So guys, you have to look out for jobs that state that they provide sponsorship for overseas midwives. Because if you look for jobs that do not state this, it means that they are only looking for midwives who are already in the UK with NMC pin. I don't know if that makes sense so guys one important thing is that you should also have a modern cv and a very attracting um, supporting statement if you have an archaic cv please try to update it so that your cv will look catching will look attractive so that um, you will be called up for interview very soon like you, it will, you won't waste time in applying for jobs Do you get so you've done your interview now and you are successful the trust will now um, assist you with your visa application that is they are going to provide what is called the certificate of sponsorship also known as the cos to you this is what you are going to be using to apply for your visa so when you get the cos this now takes us to the third part of the process which is the um, application for the uk skilled work visa so to apply for this visa, the documents you'll be needing are the COS, the passport, police clearance certificate, IELTS or OET result, the TB test certificate. You can get this test, um, this TB test certificate from the International Organization for Immigration, also known as the IOM. So in Nigeria, this um, center can be found in Abuja or in Lagos. I don't know about other countries, but I know that there are um, some designated places in every country where you can get this um, TB test certificate. So you do your application online. After submitting your application, you now book an appointment with the TLS. This is where you submit your visa application and also where you go for your biometric. 
so you print out your document when you are going so that you can hand it over to them they will collect it from you scan it and give you back but they are not going to give you your international passport because that's where they are going to stamp your virginity when your decision is being made so um the time period for a decision to be made on your visa should be within 14 days you can also pay for special services so that you can see your decision within seven days or three days it depends on you so now now let's continue with um, the uk nmc registration process because you are not done with that while you are still in your home country the next process is your health and character declaration the nmc uk will require that you provide the email and a contact detail of a medical doctor or an occupational health team in your hospital the medical doctor should be the medical doctor who has medically examined you the doctor is going to declare that you are of good health if you have any health issue this medical doctor will give that information to the NMC and they will give this information through their email. So now let's say that um, the decision has been made on your visa and you have been given your skilled worker visa to come to the UK. Upon arrival to the UK, you are going to do the second part of your test of competency, which is the OSK. So when you are successful in doing your OSK within 72 hours of um, passing your OSK, your NMC pain will be given to you. So and I think presently, so it depends on where you do your OSK. Some people don't get their pain within that 72 hours so but it depends don't worry about that the most important thing is that you are in the uk and already ready to practice midwifery in the uk so if you had submitted your document correctly and you don't have any outstanding documents to be submitted to the nmc your pain will not be held back you will get your pain to practice as a midwife so this is the current NMC process for midwifery. Please, if you don't understand anything I've said in this video, contact me in the comment section. I will be there to reply whatever question you have. I will be there to clarify any confusion you have concerning this process. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and share to your friends so they can benefit from this information. And until my next one, bye.